I and my friend, we love to learn We are happy when we learn I and my friend, we love to learn We are happy every time I and my friend I... Five hand spans Six hand spans Ganza, are you okay? It is my bed. I was jumping on it and now it's broken. What are you going to do? I don't know. What's it? What's it? Where are you? What are you kids doing? You look like you're hiding something. <laughs> oh, this is what you were hiding. But don't worry, I can help you fix it. Please, please, please help us. Can we help you? Yes, sure. Let's first measure the bed. Who are saying I can do that? Do you know how to do it? Yes, we know how to do it. This part is 90 centimeters. Write it down. And this one is 190 centimeters. We only measured two sides. 190 centimeters is also 1 meter and 90 centimeters. And in decimeters, it is 19. Wait! Where are those numbers coming from? Oh, sorry. Let me show you how to convert centimeters to meters and decimeters using a metric conversion table. First, we need to learn that while writing the length in the metric table, we write the numbers from right to left, starting from the last number under the given unit. The length of our bed is 190 centimeters. What do we write first? Zero! And where do we write it? Under centimeters. Excellent! Because our length is in centimeters. The next number is going to be nine. And I write it in the decimeter column. And finally, I write one under meter. Now, to convert our measurement from centimeters to decimeters, we consider the number under decimeters and everything on its left. For example, that will be this 9 under decimeters and this 1 that is on its left. This means that we have 19 decimeters. What remains behind will maintain its original unit. That gives us zero centimeters remaining. To convert the centimeters to meters, we will do the same. Which number is under the meter unit? One! That's right! And everything on its left is? There is nothing! That means we have one meter! Yes! And what remains behind meters is 9. That means we have 1 meter and 9 decimeters. That's true, Uwase. I have a question. Yes, my dear. If we take the 90 centimeters we measured and add 10 centimeters, do we now get a meter? Let's do it in the metric table and see. Zero plus zero equals zero. 
and 9 plus 1 equals 10. The answer is 100 centimeters. And how many decimeters are those? 10 decimeters. And 1 meter! That's very brilliant of you. Now, can we start fixing the bed? But we haven't finished measuring. We only measured one side. Good, 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 good. Actually, this side is equal to this. And this one is equal to this one. Oh, yes. I now see it. It looks like a rectangle. If you take the length and multiply it by 2, you get the measurement of both lengths. Oh, and if you multiply the width by 2, you get the measurement of both widths. 190 times 2 equals 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 9 is 18. I write 8 and keep 1. And 2 times 1 equals 2. Plus 1 is 3. The answer is 380 centimeters. Ganza, do the next one. 90 times 2. 90 times 2 equals... 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 9 is 18. The answer is 180 centimeters. Now we have 180 centimeters plus 380 centimeters. What's it? 0 plus 0 equals... 0! Good! Ganza, 8 plus 8 equals... 16. Perfect. We write 6 and carry 1 to meters. And 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. So we need 560 centimeters of wood. Let's do it before it gets dark. Yes, 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 let's do it quickly. We are happy every 